Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we're going to be taking a look at the STR Kaba with his Easy A on the new Super Saiyans team with Vegeta. Um, so the interesting thing about this team is we are able to run a couple of the uh, nice Super STR units, including two of probably the best Super, I mean, well, I was going to say two of the best Super STR units. They're two of the better TURs on Global uh, post Easy A which is, of course, not you. Uh, Kefla and the Super Vegeta, both of which Super STR. So both of which are going to be getting 60% support from Kaba. I mean, future Gohan as well. He only gets the 170 lead from this Vegeta, but him with the 60% support is going to be pretty awesome as well. Now, we do want to make sure that we are getting our build up for you. So I think we will probably go ahead and do this. Um, because obviously we know that the Omega loves to slot one super and stun you, which is very annoying. So let's see. Kaba, of course, being a nuker. So we're starting off at 100k defense, which is nothing too crazy. But then we can get eight orbs. Remember that for their same type orbs, uh, the supports get 70% per key sphere obtained. So with eight orbs, that puts him up to 463k, which isn't the craziest, but he does, of course, have guard on the first turn as well. Not that he's taking any hits here, but yeah, see, immediate slot one super. We want Karba to get built up because Karba has the stacks for nine turns on his uh, attack and defense with each super. So mine is built for full additional with the rest into dodge. None of the supports need any crit because they also get crit chance per orb obtained, 10%, which means he has an 80% chance to crit on this turn, plus a separate 10% chance because he's an STR unit, so he has level 5 crit anyway. So 7.9 on the first one. We don't get the additional. But there's Super Vegeta, 12.2 million on a turn where he didn't get to get hit first. And he doesn't have Fierce Battle active because the supports are all shattering the limit characters. Um, so you can see the uh, the buff that he's giving here. Um, so we want to get uh, Future Gohan floated off this time. Is there any way I can get the orbs for Kefla here? Probably not. Oh yeah, there we go. That extra physical orb coming in clutch at the top there. You love to see that. Friend Vegeta actually going to get to attack. No way. Let's go. So obviously Vegeta himself doesn't really get any benefit from Kaba being on the team. But Vegeta doesn't really need it, right? Like Vegeta is the best TUR on Global. Um, he's probably the best TUR on JP still anyway as well. But he's the best TUR. Um, and the fact that just the other units on his team get this significant buff from Kaba while he's still able to hold his own is very nice. And then of course I do have, I put King Vegeta on the team. I could have put another Super STR character on here, but uh, we put King Vegeta on the team because of course he provides that crazy support, not just to Vegeta himself, but he supports pure Saiyans. So he actually does support Kaba as well. Um, so on this next rotation where we have Vegeta, King Vegeta and Kaba, Kaba's not providing any support to any of them outside of the links. But he is getting some support from King Vegeta, which is actually quite useful. So we'll see what he's start of turn. Remember, he was on a 100k defense start of turn. Of course. Supers during the uh, phase where we can't dodge. But well, actually, we're going to drop below 50% HP. So... There's the uh, one time change all the orbs heal. So let's go for, yeah, I guess we'll just go for this, right? So what's he at? 183 start of turn. But then we do this. So not only are we going to get full HP, uh, we are now on <laughs> 1.7 million defense. Is that, is that good? Chat, do we like 1.7 million defense with guard? Um... I mean, obviously, if he gets supered in slot one, he's not going to be able to uh, a super attack, which is unfortunate. But he did just super at the end of the last turn. So, yeah, nice. Yeah, 1.7 mil. And there's an 18 million attack stat for him. Um, ah, additional normal. Even that does relatively decent damage, though. 
<laughs> no, not good. Okay. Yeah, 1.7 million with guard. Nah, that's not good. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Uh, get through the first phase. This is where the Super Vegeta gets his kind of benefit of uh, being able to get hit by an AOE to then get his buff. So we can do this and then... I want to keep the SDR orbs around so that we can get a good orb change for Kaba. So I'm going to do this. So if he changes the int orbs to STR at the start of the next turn, we will have a lot of orbs. So... Yeah, Super Vegeta getting hit here. Super Vegeta has a lot of links active because he shares a ton of links with the uh, tech um, Vegeta as it is. But obviously the tech Vegeta doesn't have Super Saiyan until we transform. But Gohan on the end does. So... If he can't tank Golden Freezer, oh what the uh, thingy. Gogeta normals after super 1.7 mil, so Kaba would take double digit damage then, even without his guard active. So he is good. Alright, so... Yep, of course, Tech Vegeta just eats that. 19.7 for Super Vegeta. Now imagine this rotation with Kaba in slot 3. Because we're kind of showcasing Kaba a bit specifically, right? So we didn't float him. But if he was in slot 3 on this rotation, like, Super Vegeta would just go absolutely nuts. And then we get the additional 23 mil. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll just put, collectively put the Ningen face. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's why Kaba is one of the better ones, right? Because once the guard runs out, you can actually get some stacks on them. So. But yeah, now we have Kefla. So we can do this. What are we up to now? 217k start of turn. Look at all these STR orbs as well. The only problem, I guess, with having Kaba and Kefla on the team is that they both kind of compete for the orbs. But, do I want you to stack more? Yeah, probably. Although, actually, no, because if you go first, you're just going to kill him, aren't you? So, so we'll do that. Yes, yeah, so we've still got a million defense slot one here. And we'll do that. So he's got no guard, but has a million defense. Pre-super, which he can still get more stacks on. Um, did one multi, got two carbers, is he any good? Yes. Very good. He is probably the best out of the ten, I would say. Not just because of his own abilities, which are good, but because of who he supports. Like super STR, very strong. Um... Alright, we get another super in with Vegeta, which is nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring up the... Uh, we can show it from the menu here. Bring up the Kaba build. I always forget, of course, King Vegeta is not the best against AoEs. So bringing him on the uh, stage with the AoEs isn't the best. But yeah, mine's 90%, so missing one copy. Um, any of the ones that raise defense on super, I think additional is better to go for because you want to get them stacks. So mine has 22 additional and then 10 dodge. None of them need any crit because they get crit chance uh, per orb obtained uh, or per type orb. So remember, if you're able to get, like, on that last turn, we got eight STR orbs. That means he has an 80% chance to crit. And if you get 10 STR orbs or more, like the turn where he does the orb change, um, he's getting guaranteed crit as well, which is good. So what's your defense start of turn? 210. It's not ideal, but as long as we get the AGL orbs for him, it'll be fine. Uh, we could use Super Vegeta's thing as well, because he's going to get hit by the AoE. I mean, this could actually be a pretty crazy turn, to be fair. I mean, we might not get to see Kaba again, but Omega does have a lot of HP. So you know what? Let's just do it. The, the showcase is kind of more about the team like than it is about Kaba, because uh, like I'm recording this not long after doing the ECA on stream, so I will have probably put out just a standalone Kaba showcase before this video anyway. 
So this one's more about the team than it is about Kaba himself. So this is going to be a pretty crazy rotation as long as uh, King Vegeta doesn't get absolutely destroyed by the AoEs. Alright, okay, so I'm going to save these AGL orbs for King Vegeta. So I'm going to do this, we're going to do this. I'm going to do this. Right, so Vegeta will be fine in slot one now. As soon as he gets one normal hit in, he's tanking everything. So 114k, okay. That's not too bad because Super Vegeta will take less now that he's been hit once. So all three of the AoEs in slot one and the Super as well. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's, uh... He's really going for it, isn't he? Jeez. It's like, bro, chill. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to get our revenge now. 15.4 for Vegeta. I don't know whether this is my one or the friend one. Because I think mine's only the one dupe. But that is the friend one. Then 16 on the additional here. Because we get the guaranteed additional because he got hit first. So. And now Super Vegeta. What's he going to look like with all this support? 41 million. Sweet. Jeez. That's with the active skill, of course, as well. But 41 million. Do the additional as well. Ah, oh, That would have been even higher. 41 million. <laughs> That's pretty good. But yeah, the 60% supports uh, have never come back again on JP after this thing. So we don't know if they will come back or when they will come back again at some point. Yeah, 41 million guaranteed crit as well, by the way. <laughs> so, it's pretty good. Um... All right, so let's put that off. Let's transform with you. So Kaba, after getting the stacks that he's gotten so far, uh, is at 246, which is, of course, not by any stretch the craziest. Um, then we can go ahead and... And we might as well grab all of these, right? That's nine STR orbs. So he has a 90% chance to crit. Um, but yeah... That gives us a full heal as well. 1.4 million defense. So even if Omega Super's in slot one, it doesn't matter. Um, and that's pre-Super as well, of course, because he still gets a buff on Super. Um, so yeah, do that. 12 mil, okay. All right, well, there you go. Here's the Omega Super. Hundred and fifteen. <laughs> not bad. I mean, it's not double digits, but remember, of course, he's not usually going to be in that situation. Like, again, if we weren't doing a showcase for Kaba, I would have put Vegeta in slot one, Future Gohan in slot two, and then Kaba in slot three. But... Because obviously we don't... Yeah, because he lowers defense as well. That's the only downside to characters with really high raw defense tanking against Omega. Because he lowers defense on Super. But yeah, guard for the first four turns is one of the things that makes them incredibly valuable. Um, basically, you are able to use his... Um, you're able to use the characters in slot one in or two. Or, you know, potentially keep them on rotation in the early turns because they have that guard for the first couple of turns so you can use that to get them set up so for example on this team like even if we were just going to float Kaba as a support unit we could keep him on rotation for the first couple of turns to get those couple of stacks in while he has guard because where some of the other units need to build up he could potentially be a better option early on um I guess we could just finish him off with the active skill here, to be fair, to get the uh, get the animation in here. 
Although he's not going to get a hit first, so he's not going to get a crit. But we'll do it anyway. Actually, no, he just gets guaranteed crits on the active skill, doesn't he? Getting hit first is what just gives him the additional attack. Big bang attack. 22 million damage, basically. And there's the KO screen. You love to see that. Well, there you go. So, Carbot on the Vegeta Super Saiyans team. Very good. Um, you know, because he has his own orb changing, even outside of the turn where he changed all the orbs, we saw him get over a million defense multiple times. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. King Vegeta was on the previous rotation with his uh, thing. So. But, yeah. Very, very good. Um... Like I say, you can, depending on your starting rotations, having him on rotation early on, if you need to fix up your rotations, can be very beneficial as well. It all depends on the team build that you're running. Um, but yeah, there you go. Kaba on the Super Saiyan team. Very, very good. I mean, this team is just crazy anyway, as it is. So Kaba is a nice addition if you're running these other Super STR characters. So let me know what you guys think uh, down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.